Let me see. Oh, I've got some flashcards. I know my addition. I don't need them anymore. Let's see. I've got some old stats. Oh, my cricket magazine. Whoa! But I've read it like six times. It's it's an old one. And Magic Fountain comic book. Whoa! Makes me want to fly. But I've read that maybe a gazillion billion times. So, hmm, what can I do with all this stuff? I've got my phonics cards. I know all my words. Spiders and turtles and snow. I don't want to see snow for a while. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess I'm just gonna glide through and clean my room and maybe do something clever with what I find. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hey everybody, it's Lori Taylor and we are going to follow Rocky's lead and look at the junk in his room and make some kind of cool book with it. Let's go. Let's see, we've got some flashcards. We don't need those anymore. We've got old magazines. Ooh, the magic fountain. And we've got old phonics cards. Let's see what we can do with these. Some scrap paper that, I don't know, Rocky must have been saving for notes or homework. Chip and Dale, oh my gosh, Rocky's cousins. Oh my goodness, these troublesome. Little chipmunks and another cricket magazine. And our handy glue stick. Let's make something cool. I've got some fun scissors, some safe scissors, and we can make something really quick and easy that you can take with you on your exploration like Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Let's grab a couple of these cards. This is a quick, quick craft. You can use any old playing card or any phonics card or even greeting cards to make a simple book to take exploring. Let's grab a cool picture. We're gonna go through this Cricut magazine. Ooh, that looks awesome. That would make a really neat exploration cover. Ooh, so is that. Geez, which one are we gonna use? Oh gee golly, I hate making decisions like this but this one might cover both, so let's do that. Oh, that's such a great picture. And he's exploring and looking. I don't know, is it gonna fit? Just barely. But this is really fun and exciting, so I think we're gonna use this page. So what we're going to do is put our cover on the front, and we're gonna put where we're going to glue back here, and we're just going to glue up our cards to make a book. And you can practice folding. Okay, that folds nicely. So, put the cap on your glue. You don't want it to dry out, no. Now what we're going to do is cut out a round. And these have a real nice scallop edge to them. is that cool or what that was a real nice decision I'm making oh and there we have the Sun oh my goodness that's cool so what I'm going to do now is put glue around the outside edge so I can fold over this edge so here let me put it on this paper so you can see there we've got the edge we're going to take this and roll it over Ta-da, whoops, you gotta push that down. All right, yeah, it's that little bit right there. Okay, there's our back cover, here's our front cover, and we open it. What are we gonna put on the inside? Well, what about a page from the Magic Fountain? So I'm going to look for a cool picture in here that's going to spread across. There's some funny vegetables and things and roots. Oh. Should we do a squirrel? I'm thinking. Yeah, because uh, maybe we can even go sideways. 
that look cool? The animal world, the squirrel. That's kind of a neat thing because Rocky's a squirrel. Oh, how lucky. Sometimes you just get lucky that way. So we're going to put our glue all over the inside and then we're going to place our page right on. Oh, let's see. Just like that. Whoop, that. Did we get it? Oh, I've got the other page. There we go. It's kind of cockeyed, it doesn't matter. Now what we're going to do is take our ruler. I have a ha, smoky bear ruler. And we're going to put the edge on the edge of our cover and tear this up. And that's how you can, and if you don't have scissors, you can always use a nice clean edge like a ruler and tear. Oop, find that edge. And then the fun part is you get your book made, then you can decorate it. So here we have, <laughs> there's our squirrel. <laughs> and we've got our book. You can take some scissors and trim the edge or you know, if you have just plain scissors, you can kind of give that edge a little clean trim, just like that. Okay. Now, we put in our pages, right? Let's see, what did I do with Rocky's pages? Oh, we've got them right here. Press down and make sure our book closes. We'll do a little bit more trim there. I'm going to use some big scissors. Okay, so now we've got our paper. What you can do, so you can take this, it's a handy little book that you can stick in your pocket and then you can take it out while you're looking for squirrels or while you're at a pond or a lake. So you can fold a page in half and paste it inside, or you can make a field note guide. How to make a field note guide that you can take outside. Take a sheet of copy paper and fold it in half, hot dog, or lengthwise, all the way down the middle. So this is the length. And then we fold it hamburger or in half, so now we have, it looks like a V, the letter V. I call this the bird fold. And then what we do is take the bird's wing and fold it till I meet the center fold. I take the other wing and fold it until I meet the center fold. Okay, press your edges good. Now. When you open it, it should look like a W or an M, whichever way you want it to be. And then you can use this for your field notes. It's like a book inside a book. So this will protect it. Now what we can do is when Rocky is outside gathering things, Rocky can stick leaves or flowers on the inside of this and stick it in his book. So what we're going to do is make sure the open end is up to stick flowers or leaves in and we're going to glue one side of this into our book. You can choose whatever side you want to put it on and I'm thinking I'm going to put it on this side because I really love this picture of the squirrel. So where we're going to glue it, it's going to, let me move this so you can see, it's going to accordion out. It's an accordion fold so it's going to go out this way. So I'm going to put glue on the side that's going to be pasted down and hold it inside our book. Now remember, our fold is there, so we don't want it too close to the fold. And with this book, using large cards, a sheet of computer paper works really well. So what we do, watch this, Woo! close it, and close it again. And there we have our field notebook. 
Now, if you want, you can stick another page here and glue that on, or even make a smaller book. I'm going to use Rocky's pages and line them up and let's do this. And then I'm going to tear. So I have lots of pages and I think, you know, I'm going to staple it in. Sometimes when you're working on something, you get ideas while you're working along and it's like, oh, you know, I think we have a stapler around or, you know, I'm just going to uh, do something else to it. I think what I'm going to do is take a bit of the cover because it's really cool and tear this off. It's about that wide. I think it's neat that he's guiding. the mule and so I'm going to tear 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 and then fold this in half and then use that to hold my little papers it just makes it look pretty okay so I'm going to put that here staple my papers together and then put some glue and then we can take our young explorer and put him on here to hold the papers and that way it's going to cover our staple and then that way it won't cut you and then what we're going to do is glue the, that part into our book right here so now we have lots of areas to write and go out and explore. So we've got a little notebook and we've got our field notes glued into one side and we've made extra little pockets with it. And we're going to, let's get our edges really folded down and we're going to close it. Should we decorate it now? Let's see. There's one little piece of paper left and I found it on Rocky's floor. We're going to glue that on our front cover. Maybe about, oh, right here. Everybody's curious and looking. They're all looking like, oh, what's inside? We just don't know. And Rocky had a bunch of stamps and some ink. So we're going to put a little bird oh he's so cute and maybe some dog tracks dogs are really great at looking for clues and maybe some butterflies we'll stamp those in and maybe to keep somebody out of your book a spider <laughs> that's just for fun so maybe if somebody looks like, oh, there's a spider in the book, they'll leave your book alone. Because this is your book. You want to put your name in your book. And when you go out exploring, you want to have your name maybe on the front cover or somewhere on the back. The date, where you went, where are you? Are you in the woods? Are you at the lake? Are you in a park? What's the weather like? Can you draw pictures of the weather? So we have the date, where you are, the weather, and the time, the time of day. Sometimes things change when you're out and about and animals act differently and so do plants. So you want that on your field note guide and wherever you are, explore, find some little things to put inside, write some notes, draw some pictures, and you have a book. Hey, Rocky. Did you finish cleaning? I sure did. I didn't want to throw away those magazines or the cards, though, because I was watching you make the book. That's right. So what did you do, Rocky? I put all of those things into a bag. Rocky, did you get your room cleaned up? Yeah, 